Now an example of a custom template is where you actually choose the template itself and up at the top like in this example you'll see that it says please insert co company name or there'll always be something along that equivalent but all you need to do is to double click on that item and change the text inside so maybe it's not going to have your company name but it doesn't take very long to get your company name in there and just a couple other items that you may want to customize now, if you have a spreadsheet that you use all the time, it's the same shape, it's the same size, it's got the same columns, the only thing that might change is, let's say, the month or the year, or the quarter report, or, you know, maybe it's an expense report, so every time you take a business trip, you need to fill this out. Regardless of the use, you know that you're always basing it from the same template. And if this is the case, you can also take a current example of a street that you work on, and you can save it as a template and then use it from there. What this does is it basically marks the items in the template as read-only so you don't accidentally overwrite the template with some other changes. Now that we've taken a look at templates that were created for us, why don't we go ahead and try to create a template of our own. Now up at the office.microsoft.com or the installed templates, we have a variety of choices. There was everything from an income statement to a grocery list. However, I'm sure you all, I know I certainly do, have spreadsheets that I use that don't really fit a standard format. So based on that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this particular spreadsheet and we're going to turn it into a template of our choice. And when we do this, we'll of course use um, all the different methods that we normally use to create a spreadsheet in general. Now one of the first things that I've done is on this particular template, notice with the formulas you'll see equal sum. This is going to be a little trick that I will show you again separately as a different topic, but for now you'll see it's a very handy trick to look at a spreadsheet and see where your formulas are. That way you can tell whether or not this is a good example to use for a template. If all you had was numbers in the totals, then you'd have to go back and correct a number of things before you made it a template. How I did this is I hit the control key with the tilde key, which is the, key that's the key that's directly to the left of the one right underneath the escape key. So I'm going to hold control and hit tilde, and you're going to see our formulas essentially go away and hide. Again, I'm going to show you that later on. Now I have here in Robin's Pet Place all of her income, but I can also click on this tab down here and I can find one that's for expenses. So what I'd like to do is create a third tab, and we're going to call this one Summary. And hit Enter. All I'm going to do on the Summary tab is I'm going to put in Summary of Income. There you go, and expenses, and I'll go down a couple rows, and I'll go ahead and type in income here, and I'll go down a couple rows, and I'll go ahead and type in expenses right there. Now, now that I've got my official labels and what's going to go where, all I need to do is click where I'd like to see a formula, and in this particular former formula, I'm going to type in equal sum, and open the parentheses, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for information from the income sheet from cell C10 to O10. Now if you'd like to see what that is, I can click over here and you'll see I have C10 right there, but I want to go all the way to O10, which is going to be off to the right. Sometimes a little hard to select, but I can even bring that back a bit because you'll see if I go all the way to column O, that's going to include the total. So the total will be the total plus the total, and well, that's not going to work very well. So notice again here, this is going to be our reference, whatever reference it is that we need to use. I'm going to close our parentheses, and you'll see now, of course, I haven't made any money. Why? Because it's a template and I don't have any of those figures. But if I was to come over here and just put in, in this example, $5 in May, when I come over to Summary, you'll see that that actually works. And that's all I want to do, is to verify that it works. So I'll go back and I'll hit Delete, and I'll replace that with a zero to keep everything consistent. 
And why don't we go ahead and do the same thing for our expenses? So here in expenses, of course, equals sum. And now what I want is all of the expenses from the expenses spreadsheet. So we'll click over here. Notice I still have my formulas turned on. That's going to be OK, because I can still highlight my total expenses. I can change the view a little bit later. And when I'm all done, close parentheses and hit Enter. After all that work, I would go ahead and save. And let's go ahead and see if all these work. Let's go to Expenses. I'm going to actually turn off the formulas right now. Remember, that's Control tilde. And again, let's just spend some money on office supplies. $5 will work for me. And look at that. That one worked as well. Let's replace that back with a zero. So now we have a full template, zeros for the numbers that will change, formulas waiting to add up numbers that will eventually be there, and a summary sheet. Now, summaries I tend to put right there in front, so you can drag that around. Again, these are all just skills we've seen in various classes. And I'll go ahead and save the work. What I like to do with templates is first I like to save it as a regular document. And when I know it's 100% ready for the template, you go from File on the Office toolbar, Save As. And what you're going to see here is we have all workbook choices. But if you click on just Save As and you pull down this menu, you'll go ahead and see an Excel template. We're going to let this be called Budget, and we'll hit Save. Now, in order to use these templates, what we need to do is hit Close. And now we're going to reopen that, but not by saying File Open. We're going to say File New. And notice here, we're going to look at My Templates and what's going to be there but Budget. When we click on OK, there's our summary, our income, and our expenses. All I have to do at this point is possibly on the template. I may have dressed that up a little bit, but we'll do that in some other chapters.